Hey guys, welcome to another video of Study Money. And in today's topic, we'll talk about the actual costs of having a car or having a vehicle. So, kung gusto mong malaman kung ano ba talaga yung mga bagay na kailangan mong pagdaanan at pagbayaran kapag meron kang sasakyan para malaman mo to, panoorin mo to. Bang, bang. Okay guys, so first on my list is your car registration, okay? So obviously, you know, kailangan mong iparehistro yung sasakyan mo and the costs vary. So from the registration fee, bago ka maparehistro, obviously you're gonna need to go to your nearest emission testing center to get your vehicle approved if it emits the proper amount of smoke. Um, next is insurance, okay? So they're gonna look for insurance bago ka so next kailangan mo ding paghandaan parking alright so kung may sasakyan ka especially dito sa Metro Manila alright you're gonna need to have a parking space that's right so kung ayaw mo ng problema na matuw yung sasakyan mo at tubusin mo somewhere and you're gonna have to pay all these huge penalties have a parking space prepared or lease a parking space or rent a parking space and currently based on my studies it depends um, it's somewhere around 2,500 to 6,500 a month okay so kailangan mong paghandaan yan parking and also if you're going to places alright um, chances are these spots especially in the cities they charge you a parking fee first three hours first four hours or full day they charge parking fees all right now next eventually you're gonna need to pay for fuel so kung pupunta ka from point a to point b you're gonna need to have fuel in your gas tank hindi ka makakaandar obviously walang susunugin yung makina mo para makaandar at makapunta sa ibang lugar so you're gonna need to pay for gas you're gonna need to purchase gas alright now next car repairs so maniwala ka man o hindi okay mekaniko ka man o hindi nag NC1, NC2 ka man o NC7 ka pa sa TESDA alright your car is eventually going to experience repairs mapa minor scratches yan na kaya ng rubbing compound and you're gonna have to purchase a rubbing compound or kailangan mo magpalit ng buong air conditioning unit so you're gonna have to be prepared for that all right now next is and last but not least kailangan mo din ng lisensya di ba kailangan mo ng driver's license hindi ka pwede magmaneho ng walang lisensya okay kailangan mong paghandaan yan pumunta ka ng LTO magrehistro ka magbayad ka ng mga fees para makakuha ka ng lisensya mo kuha ka ng students and then non-professional and if you're my friend Don Pastor shout out to you my homie um, kuha ka ng professional driver's license alright so I hope that you found this video helpful and so kung nagbabala kang bumili ng sasakyan or meron ka ng sasakyan and nagugulat ka sa mga bagay na pinagkakagasusan mo well don't be surprised here are the facts and always be prepared for all these things okay arrest them before it becomes a problem for you so if you like this video hit the thumbs up and if you have any questions comments suggestions please write it down in the comment section below and if you have not already subscribe to my channel and kung meron kang kilala na bibili ng sasakyan o meron ng sasakyan at hindi alam pa itong mga bagay na to, then please share this video to him or her. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.